Hey, how's it going, guys? I'm here today to show you tag spaces, and I'm going to start off with what is tag spaces, why you need it, and what issue does it solve. First of all, this is tag spaces. Uh, as the name suggests, you got a bunch of tags here they can use, and essentially what you can do with it is you can tag certain files, folders, whatever you want with different themes. Now, what issues can it solve? For me, as a developer, I find myself with a lot of assets. For example, here's Kenny Game assets. Many of you probably know of this pack, and you see all these different folders. You know, we got uh, Smoke Particle, Space Shooter, Puzzle Pack, Racing Pack. Within all these folders, you might have different GUI elements, different characters, um, really just different elements to a game they can use and there might be a shared commonality between the different packs but yet you can't really split them out you don't want to split them out you don't want to put them into one giant folder there's no real elegant way to solve the issue of how do I organize this so tag spaces fixes this issue now it doesn't have to be images you can use this for audio documents uh, if you want to use it for your school documents um, you know your, your personal photos whatever it be uh, so I'll just show you quickly here. I've already tagged some things. Um, I'll just tag another one just to be on the safe side so you can see what it does. Now, let's say I want to start a new project. I got this tag here, New Game Art. Say, I might use this in game. After I'm done tagging everything, I can say, Show files with this tag. Here's everything that I tagged. From here, I can say, You know what? I'm not sure if I'll use that. I'm going to give it a one star. I can then rate each one of my new assets that I might use and further drill down to my different uh, graphics that I use. Uh, you, can, you can really do this for any aspect of your graphics. I've got split it out to say, you know, tile sheets. You know, these are all in different locations possibly. You have scenarios where things fit multiple categories. For example, my UFO tag, some of them show characters as well. So I go to characters, you'll see some of them show up, there's a couple new ones. And really what happens is once you drill down and start tagging things in a way that makes sense for you, you can actually easily look through these assets instead of trying to fumble around with, oh, where's that robot asset or what characters do I actually have I can use. This allows you to tag it and quickly and easily search through it. So that's tag spaces on a really high level, uh, what it can do, what opportunities you have with it and how it can improve your workflow. Hope you enjoyed the video and I really hope you find Tag Spaces useful. I know it solved this issue for me that I've had for a really long time and I really struggled with it. Um, this really, really helped me out and I hope it can help out others too. Thanks for watching.